Welcome back to Channel 57. Today we're going to share two exciting modules built by our friends Roland and Enrica at Making Sound Machines. They presented these modules last weekend at Superbooth Berlin, and now we are lucky enough to get to build them. They gifted these modules to us because they like what we do with the channel. Thanks guys, we really love your work as well. And we have come to them in the past for creative advice. So this is purely a fun build. All of the SMD has been pre-populated, and the only thing we had to do was solder the control hardware and place the front panel. But these modules are super fun and useful. Let's start with the 1000 dB. What does this do? That's not what it's called. It's called the Tausend dB. Oh, this is the same. No, oh, but that's Tausend in German. Yeah. <laughs> the Tausend is a four channel 6 HP amplifier and its main purpose is just to boost audio or CV signals. Every channel has a mute switch and a gain knob, allowing you to boost the signal into distortion. This also essentially prevents your output signal from getting too hot. The 1000 dB is very clearly designed for experimental musicians and musical installation artists. Roland and Erika envisioned a module that could take in four signals from Pieto microphones or contact microphones in common parlance uh, that will be placed, for example, in different locations on a board with interesting objects that produce sound or on an interactive installation object and then boost these signals and bring them into the Eurorack realm. There's another thing that really showcases how suitable this is for installation artists, namely that on the back of the module are eight pin inputs and outputs that can connect to, for example, the Arduino platform using jumper cables. So this module is much more than just an amplifier. It can be kind of a connection hub to connect an installation artwork to your Euro rack and from your Euro rack to an Arduino and maybe to a digital computer environment. In this video, we're going to show you how to build your 1000 dB and some simple patch ideas. But definitely make sure to also check the website of Making Sound Machines. They have lots of patch ideas, great documentation for the modules, so you'll be well rewarded. If we don't see you again, please like and subscribe. It would really help us a lot. And stay tuned for our next video on Making Sound Machines' other module, the Multipicken. Here's what came in the mail. A nice box for Making Sound Machines with a personalized note from Erika and Roland. Two stickers, the front panel and PCB, parts, more parts, and another front panel and PCB. First, take the front panel and a PCB out of their anti-static bag. Then, unpack the components. There's three bags. Let's start with the pin headers. I put the PCB in a clamp, but this was a bad idea. Here's what you should do instead. Insert all of the pin headers, then put a piece of cardboard on top of the PCB and flip all of it over at once. Then you can just solder all of the pin headers in place. Now watch me struggle trying to tack some solder onto two corner pins of each pin header. This keeps the pin headers in place so you can flip the board over and solder all of the remaining pins. Now dump out the second bag, which has the potentiometers and switches. Let's start with the potentiometers. There's a small tab on each that you'll have to take off with a pair of pliers. Here's how you do it. Now they're ready to go. Just wriggle them into the holes. They'll stay in place. Then place all of the jack sockets. Next, place a single nut on each of the switches and drop them into the holes. There's no right or wrong direction. Then, place the front panel. Screw a few nuts to keep it in place. Flip it all over and solder all of the remaining connections. The board is a little crowded, so you may have to come in from straight above. Make sure the tip of your soldering iron is completely flush with the pad and is heating both the pad and the leg at the same time.
When you're done, use isopropyl alcohol to clean any remaining flux residue from the board. Then replace the front panel and screw on all remaining nuts. Now place the jumpers as indicated. Turn down all of the knobs and place the knob caps. If they're all aligned, you can push them down. That's your 1000 dB done. I'm just going to do a quick demo of the 1000 dB using two contact microphones I borrowed from my dear friend and sound artist Claire Matthews. Why don't you come take a look? So I'm starting off by taking my contact microphone and taping it to my instrument of choice, which is the kalimba. My other contact microphone is here on the desk so that we can get some rhythm and can pound and explore how that works. All I've done is I've um, put the kalimba contact mic into one of the four input channels, as well as the desk contact mic into the other. My contact mics are plugged into the quad VCA, and then the output of the quad VCA is going to be in beads, and then it's going to go straight back to our general mixer and computer. The beads is just adding some more effects to make it sound a little bit more interesting. I'm going to turn off the mute switch. Apologies for the out of tune kalimba, we don't have an instrument to correct that right now. So as you can see, this is a really fun way to implement this new module, and really you can use a contact mic with any instrument of your choice and play around with it, so we highly recommend. Also keep in mind contact mics are cheap and you can make your own, so please comment below what you're using your contact mic with, we'd love to hear more.